Inside this video, brother, I'm going to show you why being alone is beneficial for you and your dreams and how can you actually unlock this superpower that I'm talking about and not only me, but many people are talking about this. Let's dive in away. So basically, in today's population, many people are distracted and sadly, those people are 90% of the population. Yes, 90% of the population are distracted and you cannot even instead watching a short 5-minute video similar to this one without even checking their fucking phone or something else or wandering out about some other friend and all of that and whenever they found, find themselves sitting inside a room alone and all of that they ask what's wrong with me why don't i have friends right now why don't I have why don't i have somebody to hang out with right now yes fair enough a social life is a life that you and i want perhaps 70 percent of our lives needs to be social 70% of our lives needs to be spent with good quality friends, good quality girlfriends and all of that. But if you don't actually have some free time where you are just alone, where you just sit down and work like the 10% of people do most of their days, well then how do you expect yourself to achieve what you want to achieve in your life? You see, being alone isn't so bad as you may think. In the beginning, I thought the same thing. I was just there, alone, feeling depressed, feeling like crap, literally. I was literally asking myself the same question. Why am I alone? Why don't, why don't I have somebody to hang out with right now? Why am I not on my phone or my PC, just typing away with some Discord friend? Just, why, bro? Until I got used to it. Until I actually let go and started going out there being alone and work on my business work on my challenges and work on my goals that is the superpower of being alone and not many people can withstand this only few people can actually be alone without feeling bad without feeling terrible and if you're one of them bro you have the upper hand upon everybody else inside your life you are here while everybody else is here. Because whenever a time of loneliness comes, for example, COVID hits once again, everybody's getting depressed, everybody's getting suicidal thoughts, and everybody's getting this feeling like they are worthless, they should never have even been born with, and they should just go ahead and die. And some of them even commit that suicide. Well, here you are with few other people who enjoy being alone, who you work on your business and just focus on what matters in life thanks to this within those three months of covid let's say you make a pretty decent living online something that you have never done through your nine to five job and now you're free because you were alone that is the hidden superpower of being alone it unlocks your brain. You can finally think clearly. You can finally focus on what matters in life. You don't have to think about what Jessica thinks, what John thinks, what Mark thinks way back over there, what what maybe some other girl thinks while she's jacking off to something else. You don't have to think about that. All you got to do is just focus on your goals. That's it. That's it. So, no man, you won't be here thinking about the coffee, thinking about something else, you won't be here thinking about bullshit. You will be here thinking about real fucking stuff that actually matters inside your life. And now you may have some limiting beliefs after all though. For example, but people are successful and still hold parties. So why shouldn't I be alone when they aren't alone? Well, let me ask you one thing first. Do you honestly believe that that is their day-to-day -day life? holding parties every single day of their lives or do you believe that they actually sacrificed their past self their past years to develop this business to actually become successful somebody indispensable and now they can go ahead and, and afford like a party where they can just enjoy themselves for a while what do you think they have done and then you may have also another limit in belief. Like, this will be hard. No shit, Johnny. It will be hard. 
It will be hard and I'm not going to sugarcoat you. If it wasn't hard, bro, everybody would have a great life. If it wasn't hard, there were there was there were no never going to be a barrier to entry to having a greater life than the 90% of people. If you don't want to be a 9 to 5 worker that just hates his life, that has to go to a job even though he hates it, even when he's sick and all of that, if you don't want to be in that position, well then you will have to put some effort. You will have to put in some hard work inside that. So don't come to these videos expecting me to give you some, I don't know, some magic water bottle full of Tooth fairies poop inside there and you just drink it and eventually you will be cured and everything will just go well in cell life. So far, I have never seen anybody that has tried a tooth fairy's shit. So, you won't be the first one either. Just go there and actually face the consequences. Face the real things that we need to do as humans. Face them and don't run away from them. And then you may have another one. You may think that multitasking is okay, that maybe eating while shitting is okay, that maybe drinking coffee while being on the computer is okay. Fair enough. For those minor things like drinking coffee, drinking tea, drinking water, fair enough. But whenever it comes to working on your business and then you go ahead and check up on your friends because somebody may have messaged you, you are literally sacrificing your progress. You could have done that work two minutes early, but here you are checking your phone for, I don't know, five minutes, then you're, then you're back on here, your focus is ruined, and now you have to go back into the flow state, but ding, messenger rings. You go ahead there, type away for five minutes more, you go back here, and whenever you look at the clock, shit, it's 30 minutes, I'm late. And you haven't done the work. Multitasking is not okay. You should only do one thing at a time whenever it comes down to the important things in life. So use this loneliness exactly for that. Use it and serve it and take it as a gift. Don't take it as granted. Take it as a gift and respect that gift. Whenever you're lonely, you are lonely. Don't go ahead and try to occupy your mind with something else. And you may be also thinking that because everybody is doing it, why should you be different? Well, do you honestly want to work an into five job? Do you honestly want to, stru to struggle every single month to make the ends meet? Do you honestly want to count the money that you have for the month because you're you are afraid that you might not have food anymore. Do you want that life? Do you want the life of the average person? If that's so, just leave this video. You don't need this advice. But if that's not the case, well then just go ahead and do what they are not doing. Do what the 10% of people are doing, not the 90% of people. Only 10% of people. Imagine that out of 7 billion people, probably maybe around 700 people actually do the hard work, maybe even less, bro. Only about half a million people do the work, even though they don't feel like it, because they know it will lead them to something better in life. So, yeah, man. I hope this video was helpful for you. And I hope I open up your eyes whenever it comes down to being lonely, to experiencing this loneliness and how to actually use it inside your real life. Now, if you want some people that can actually push you forward instead of drag you down, some people that will hold you accountable, well then, you can go ahead and join my free school community in the second link of the description. It is completely free. You don't have to pay anything. Only one thing I ask from you, to be committed to the journey so we can actually help you out and push you forward instead of dragging you down. Thanks a lot for watching, bro. Click that link and I will see you inside.